Hi everybody! In this video I will show you how to make long pants and other long full body outfits compatible with shoes, especially boots. This includes the cutting of the mesh and the correct settings in the warehouse in Sims 4 Studio. If you want to see more tutorials for The Sims 4, leave a like and subscribe so you won't miss anything. Let's go! When working in Blender, I usually work with one mesh group. However, if I work on pants, I need to cut my mesh into more mesh groups. These mesh groups ensure that the mesh works how it is supposed to do. Let me show you some examples. Whenever you let your sim wear pants and some boots, the part that is supposed to be inside the boots will disappear, so there is no clipping. On the other hand, when you let your sim wear really loose pants, the part of the boots that is covered by the pants will disappear. What should disappear in your own mesh, you control in Sims 4 Studio. More about that later. First we have to prepare the mesh in Blender and cut it into different parts. To make your life a bit easier, look for another mesh that is similar to yours. This will be your template. If you make skinny jeans for example, look for some other skinny pants. If you make really loose pants, look for something like that. Export the mesh from Sims 4 Studio and append it to your work in progress mesh in Blender. Now select the move tool and move the whole appended stuff in one direction. I always move it to the front. Depending on the mesh you picked, the mesh will maybe have more mesh groups, but this doesn't matter because we will only focus on the bottom part. Now take a look at the length of your mesh. My example goes above the ankles, so I know that I will need three mesh groups. If your mesh goes below the ankles, you need four. Take one mesh group, I usually start with the lowest, and move it back into your mesh so that it overlaps a bit. Select your mesh and go into edit mode. Then you select the part of your mesh that matches the other mesh. Make sure that it matches perfectly, otherwise you will not get the correct result. So make adjustments to your mesh if needed. When everything is selected, move your mouse to the middle of the screen, press P and separate. Now you have two mesh groups. Move the mesh group template back, move on to the next one and repeat the steps. If your mesh goes above the ankle, you should now also have three mesh groups. If it goes below, you should have four. The different parts are called base, knee and calf. The fourth one would be the ankle. Our next step is to give the different mesh groups the right cut number. If you watched other tutorials by me, you maybe remember that I always said if you have one mesh group, the cut number has to be 0, 0, 0, 0. So now that we have more than one mesh group, it's a bit different. Usually it goes from bottom to top and from 0, 0, 0 to 0, 0, 0, 1 and to 0, 0, 0, 2 and so on. If you're not sure, just take a look at the mesh template. Here you see that this one has the cut number 0, 0, 0, 0. So we have to give its counterpart also the cut number 0000. The one above is 0001 and the last one is 0002. Delete the mesh template and save your file. When creating a project now in Sims 4 Studio, you have to remember that we don't have only one mesh group anymore, but three. This means we need something from the base game that also has three mesh groups. On the screen you see some that I picked out already, so you don't have to. I will link a detailed post about all the base game items that can be used as a base for CC projects with the perfect amount of cut numbers. After importing your mesh and maybe already after importing a texture, we want to make sure that these pans work how they are supposed to work. Click on the Warehouse tab. Select Region Map and on Entries, click Edit Elements. 
a new window will open where we can see our three elements and layer numbers. Open another Sims 4 Studio, leave the check at Create Standalone, click on CAS, open the cheat window with Ctrl Shift C and type CAS Preview. Now look for your template that works like your mesh should work, click on Warehouse and open the region map there as well. Make sure that the elements and the layer numbers match your new project. If not, you have to change them in your project accordingly. And that's basically it. To explain a bit what the layer numbers mean, if you look at the layer number of some boots and the layer number of some pants, the mesh part that has the lowest number will disappear in cast when both assets are worn at the same time. Let me show you some examples. This is my mesh and it's working fine with those shoes. But if I pick some really chunky boots, you see that it's broken. Why is it like that? Well, the template I used for the layer numbers is not as wide as my mesh, so it has layer numbers that tell the asset to go inside the boots. I want my pants to go over the boots, but there are no other pants for kids that do so. If we take a look at the region map of the boots that are not working with my pants, we see that the highest number is 500. In my mesh the highest number is 400, so I need to change it to something higher than 500. After changing the number to 600, we see that it's properly working. I hope this video made it a bit clearer for you. If you're still struggling, join my Discord where I'm always happy to help. The link is in the description. See you next time. Bye.